New Go-Go's in 2023, let's check them out. That's right, it is 2023, and yet somehow we are still getting little tidbits of Go-Go's and the craze thrown at us even to this day. This one is coming all the way from Turkey from a dairy company called Sutas. They have done promotional stuff with Crazy Bones and Magic Box in the past. Go-Go's love their dairy products for some reason. I don't know why. They've done the Dano yogurt stuff. They've done Mega Trip, which was also through the Sutas company. Now these promotional Go-Go's, how you would obtain them was actually through the website. You would buy some of their dairy products. You would get milk points. You would then turn those points in. You could get some of these guys. They refer to them as mini toy animals. This is like more of a farm animal set to go along with the dairy theme. And the information's a little bit hazy, but back in like 2013 is when these Go-Go's were originally produced, it would seem like. That would be the year that's on the bag and everything. These did show up in 2019, but they did a re-promotion for these guys through the Suta's website just back in the late spring and the early summer of this year. So a very unique product that we're not super unfamiliar with in the Go-Go-verse. We've seen a lot of different collaborations with these dairy companies overseas out of the U.S. before. Again, with the Mega Trips and the Danone. And it's just super cool and exciting that we are actually still getting Go-Go's even to this day, even just in the smallest amounts, even if it's from out of country, you know, it just gives me hope that, you know, we can bring them back to the U.S. as well and worldwide again fully and get some more new sets of Go-Go's launching hopefully soon. Speaking of which, the Go-Go community has found that there is a set that is supposed to be released, again, another kind of collaboration promotional set called PKXD. I guess it is a game overseas again as well. A lot of information just started coming up last week about this set in particular. It looks really cool. You can see I'm going to put up some of the pictures of some of the Go-Go's from that set. They look really unique. I would love to get my hands on some of these if they ever do release them. Fingers crossed. They showed off some of the products at a convention a while back and we have yet to hear any updated news on when it's actually coming out as far as producing it and getting out in stores. But stay tuned for that. If I ever get my hands on them, you know I'll be opening some up. But let's get back on track to the farm animals. I love the look of some of these figures. They look really cool. We've got our dogs, our chickens, our cows, our roosters, our bulls, our pigs, you name it. It. they have the little themed farm collection for us here today 20 figures in total there's glitter jellies available which you know them about we have a nice variety of other colors too but the main two detailed painted figures would be in the red and the green depending on when you actually order the promotion if it was the late spring early summer or the latest second run of the promotion those colors would be flip-flopped on the figures themselves so you could either get like a cat in the red in one promotion and then if you got it in the next promotion it would be a green cat. Now for the packs I have, I'm not sure if they're going to be first run or second run of the promotion, so we're just going to have to wait and see. Hopefully we get a good mix of all of them, and I would love to see if we can find all 20 figures and get a full set in this video. But now I've explained it, so now we're going to jump into those packs, crack them open, and see what we can find. The packs are very small and tiny. They've only got one figure in each of the packs. All right, let's go over to the desk and take a look at these guys, and leave a like on the video if you're excited to hear about the new Go-Go's in 2023. And if you like the Crazy Bone content, Content, make sure to subscribe to the channel. We are always playing the craze over here, so you're not going to want to miss any future videos. Well, let's go. Here we go. We've got all these Sutas packs here. Let's get it. Actually, this isn't all of them. Let me get the rest. Yeah. Ugh. And there we go. Now we've got all of them here that we're going to be opening up. 20-something uh, packs or whatnot, and one each. So you know what? We're going to get a good little stack here of these guys. Let's check them out. Go Ghost Crazy Bone official logo right on the packaging. Super cool. We've got the Suta's logo right up there for the little dairy product farm, whatever you want to call it. And I'm not sure what these words say. I think they say like farm animals or something like that. Just my guess, but pretty cool. They showcase a couple of the figures. Not the best choice of figures, I would say. I like the cow. He looks cool. The sheep looks ugly as sin i would say that's not a favorite of mine but let's check out the back of these packages suitas.com let's see if we can find the date on here that says it's from 2013. oh look at this oh look at that they've got instructions for the bowling game right on the back because i don't think we get any card or stickers in these but that is interesting never seen that before printed right on the 
packaging itself. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay, right here. PPI 2013 Go Goes Crazy Bone Worldwide Group. There it is. Very cool. With all the other text and the do not swallow little warning label on it there, of course. All right, so we're gonna mix these all up here. Hopefully we get a good lot of different colors and whatnot. There is, I'll say, a little peak hole on here. Look at that, you can kind of see in, which is kind of silly. I don't know why they did that. I'd rather be completely surprised, but you know what? I'll take advantage of it since we got it. You can kind of see what you're getting in the package before you open it a little bit, at least color-wise, if you're trying to go for a whole color set or something. Figures I would like to get would be the cat, dog, the rooster. There's some, there's some nice looking figures in here for sure. Uh, the lamb, you know, I want to get for a complete set, but, uh, you know, if we only get one of him, I'll be fine with that. Let's start with our first one here, now that everything's cleared out of the way. Ooh, it's exciting. What do we got in our first little one? We've got a green, perfect. So, you know what I said in the beginning about the red and the green. These are like the fully detailed, fully painted versions in the red and green. So this is our cover cow itself, straight from the packaging. Great way to start the green cow. Looking fantastic. I like it. You can see it's got the logo on there and everything. All the little things. Does it have a number? What number are you? This is number 19 is the cow. There we go. Boom. The first one is in. Let me just make sure there's nothing else in here. Nope. Nothing else in the packaging. No sticker or anything like that. Let's get another one going here and let's see what we can do. Oh, come on. I guess we got to do this way. Okay. I didn't want to. Ooh. Oh, I see a, oh, an orange glitter of the cow once again. But man, that's a great looking orange jelly. Holy crap, that looks so good. I love that orange. Ooh, that is nice, nice, nice. Reminds me of the Series 2 oranges. Really, really sharp though. Love that glitter look on this guy. So we got to, wait, are these different? <gasps> wait, they are, they are, they are. All right, it's not the cow. It's the bowl or something, I, I think. I don't think it's the same one. Hold on. No, it's not. It's not. It's a different one. So we didn't get a duplicate cow. There's two that look very similar, the bull and the cow. So that's what we got there. Another one. Let's see it. Let's rip it open. And another jelly belly. Oh my goodness. And it's another one of these. Now this one is the cow or whatever you want. Or am I mixing it up? Is this the bull? And the other one's a cow. I think this one looks more like a cow, but a nice, crisp, mega trip blue glitter jelly. I love these blues. You can see it's got that same mega trip jelly vibe uh, done pretty much the exactly the same way as far as production wise and everything, which I'm a fan of this blue. This blue looks incredible. So let's go. All right, but I would like to see a new character at this point. So let's try to see if we can open it this way. These are tough to open just sideways. Oh, well, almost would have to like cut it or something, but give me a new character. Let's see it. Oh, we've got the bug. Okay. I don't know what kind of bug it's supposed to be. It's just supposed to be a little bug, maybe a ladybug or something. I don't really know, but cool looking bug figure. I like the eyes on this guy. He looks pretty sick and it is a red. So a solid hit with the nice red piece there. Very good. Nice little eyes. He's got the yellow eyes. He's got the little stripies. He's got a little mouth going here a little bit, it looks like, but it's hard to tell. I got to figure out what kind of bug he actually is. Just double checked. It doesn't specify. It's just a bug. I don't know if I mentioned in the beginning, but they don't have like totally official names for these guys as far as the characters. Like they don't have individual names. So we're just calling them by what animal they represent, I guess. Nondescript bug, nondescript cow. Next up, let's get another new figure. Let's see it. Ooh, we got another orange. Let's go. And it's the doggo. Looking cute. Hard to tell. His eyes really blend into the figure, but you can kind of pick up on it. You can see it. It's got like kind of like a little goofy goober Snoopy vibe a little bit. Not a huge snodge like Snoopy, but it's still a nice looking doggo. Now there's a cat and there's a kitty and I believe there's a dog and a puppy. So is this the dog or the puppy? I think it's the puppy. It is. It's the puppy crazy bone. So there we go. We got the puppy and we've got the bug, the bull and the cow and we're getting nice hits with these great looking jellies. Love it, love it. Oh, oh, this one, this one might open up how I want it to. Let's see if we can 
carefully do it so I can save some of the packaging here. Oh, it just won't. It just won't. Wow. All right, that might be my last attempt to do it like that because that's ridiculous. But another blue jelly. Let's go. We've got the chicken or the rooster here in that nice blue. I love the look of his eyes on this one too. This is a solid looking chicken figure. Very, very sharp. And confirmed it is a chicken, not the rooster. I think the rooster has a taller little flingy on his top part here, I think. But really, really sharp. Really, really cool. Love that. Oh, the jelly. Oh, the jelly. The blue jellies look so fire. Okay, out of the six packs, we got five characters that are different so far. So that's pretty good. We got 15 more to go. Let's see if we can do it. Ooh, we've got a new color. Oh, it's a duplicate of the chicken, but it's in that hot pink which I like. It looks really sharp in this hot pink. Really, really nice. And you can see more of the details here. You can see what they kind of leave out uh, from the red and green to the other ones. They kind of, I think they paint up the eyes a little bit more and then they give extra details to the other little spots and whatnot. But still, I mean, they're all painted at least. Like even the other colors outside the green and red are painted up a little bit, which is pretty good. That is a great looking pink. Love that pink. Is this number 20? What one are you? Yeah, number 20. There we go. Cool. Go by the other chicken here. That's fine. All right, let's get it. Let's get it. We've got another jelly. Oh, is this the rooster? This has got to be the rooster now. He's got the big, big little top, little mohawk thing going on. Very cool. Very nice looking orange jelly once again. Looking sharp. I love the little dotted eyes on these figures, actually. Much preferredly, like the dog and the puppy look really good with that little dotted spot on it. Looks really, really nice like that. Now, is there a chick with these two? There is a chick. So there's a rooster, a chicken, and a chick. This is just the classic little rooster. Rooster doodle. What number are you? Number 10. There we go. Very good. Let's see here. Let's get this one out. We got another pink. We got another pink. It is, oh my gosh, the back-to-back -back duplicate of the rooster. There you go. You can kind of see it a little bit but clearer now, a little bit better. They didn't paint the eyes on this pink one, which is interesting. They just painted the top of the head. Huh, that's an interesting choice of what to paint. They've got that same nice feel, nothing different. It's the classic Go-Go's vibe. If anybody was worried, they don't make them like weird or anything or cheaply. They're made the same way. I think all Go-Go's are relatively cheaply made for the most part, but they all have like a good quality to them. I don't mean cheap as in crappy. I mean cheap as in they save money where they can. But this is the same as you'd get from any Mega Trip or any other of the nice series. Not an off-brand type thing just because it was a promotion. Still looks good. Another one. Now let's see. Oh, another jelly. I know I got a lot of jellies, which is great. I am about it. There is our sheep looking thing, right? You are a sheep. Okay, it's a lamb, not a sheep. I mean, same diff, but it's the lamb version, which looks still not... Not my favorite of these, but the blue glitter jelly does help because it does look very, very sharp like that. But uh, out of all the molds, there's a couple that just look meh to me out of this one. It's not the most impressive series, but it's just nice to have brand new Go-Go's in 2023. Speaking of ones I like, I do really want to get the cat. That one does look really nice, so hopefully we can pull that one here. Let's see what we got in this one. We got a yellow. Ooh. Ooh, a yellow. This is the horse. Very, very nice. Look at those eyes. Those are weird looking eyes. Interesting choice. They kind of look like alien eyes a bit, but the yellow looks really sharp. Really, really nice looking color on that one. It's not like a gross yellow. It's a nice vibrant yellow, which is very good. I much prefer that. That is great looking. All right, we're doing good. Let's not get any more duplicates. Let's get more of, oh, perfect. More new figures. Now this is another bug. But this one is more specific. This is a butterfly, a butterfly bug. And it looks weird. It looks like more of a fairy type thing with like crossed arms and just a weird, goofy looking head. I don't know. It doesn't give up butterfly vibes very much to me, in my opinion. But hey, this is a nice green hitter. You can see we've got that third or second additional like detail color on there with the yellow and then the white for the eyes. Really nice. Glad to have it because we need it to complete the set. Let's keep it going. Let's see what we got in here. Another jelly. I see it. Ba-bang. Another beautiful looking. Oh, man. 
<laughs> another beautiful looking orange jelly but we did get a duplicate oh boy oh boy we gotta stop getting these duplicates otherwise we're not going to complete this set oh man but another butterfly in the nice jelly uh kind of nondescript in the details on these jellies you know it's kind of hard to see really what's going on with this guy if we hadn't seen the butterfly before i don't think you would have been able to tell that it was one so but whatever it's good it's good are we running low yet now we still got a few more hopefully we haven't gone past the pa part of no return with duplicates but that's not going to help we did get another duplicate of our bowl but it is the blue it is at least a different color. We haven't gotten any duplicate duplicates of the same color, same character at least, so that's nice. Blue one looks very sharp. Tell me which ones you guys prefer of the bowl. Do you like it in the blue or do you like it in the orange? Mmm, decisions. Here we go, here we go. Let's get another jelly out and who do we got? The chick? Yes, we got the chick. That is great. This one looks awesome. I love the look. It's got a very cutesy look to it, but I'm about it. It looks really nice. That's a really solid one. I prefer it over the chicken. It matches the rooster quite a bit more, I think, just with kind of this more, some more rounded features, some more rounded eyes. I don't know, the chicken eyes just, uh, eh, they're just okay for me. They're just okay. But I like these rounded ones for the chick. That looks really sharp. Really good blue jelly hit for this one too. What number are you? 16, 15, 15, I believe. There we go. Okay. We still have yet to see any of the cats. Got to get myself a cat here. Let's go. Uh, okay. 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 New one. We got a new one. I believe this is the squirrel. That is pretty cool. I like it. Wow. That looks really nice. Actually really sharp, really chiseled face details on that too really stands out pretty well with the jellies even wait this isn't the squirrel which one is this one it's got to be the squirrel right oh it's a chipmunk okay <laughs> i didn't see the chipmunk on the list before but all right this is the chipmunk okay now it all makes sense okay that looks good that's a good hit we still gotta get the squirrel but this is a good little chipmunk that matches it a little bit better to me let's go let's get a non-duplicate banger right here let's get it out oh we yeah, our first double double up of the chick in the blue jelly. What a bummer. What a bummer. Mm, you hate to see that. Ah, especially when you have limited packs and only one per pack. Just counted. We got 11 of the figures right now. So we're over halfway there for completing the set. But I don't know if it's... Oh, just dropped our guy. He just flew out. Don't know if it's possible to get all the figures now at this point. We'll see. We'll see. I got to go over and look at how many packs I got left, but I love this guy. We got him in the red. It's Clifford, the big red dog. I love that he, we got him in the red because he does look, he does give off those Clifford vibes like crazy, but this is the regular dog. Now we got him and the puppy. So that little combo duo thing is complete. He looks good. Another nice, like nicely chiseled one. I don't know. It's just got a good face structure to it for the dog just like the chipmunk really good oh buddy i don't know i don't know if we got this but let's see i just got to get the cats i really want the cats but we're going to get a duplicate of the puppy but we do get them in the green which is nice now you can see them kind of with a little bit more you know detail and painting on them you can see he's got like the little arms in front which i didn't notice before on the jelly and the little dotted eyes which i am a fan of that is a good one that's a good green got to get those you got to get kind of you know the nice painted versions obviously i'm a fan of the jellies more so but i'm not going to complain about getting the red or the green now there is a color that we haven't gotten yet i want to say it's purple there should be a pink a yellow and then i yeah i believe a purple and then we've got our regular green and red obviously and that's outside of the jelly so we still need to get a regular looking purple boy here but we're going to get the donkey in a nice jelly belly here very good i love it look at they don't go too far up on the horns or anything, but they did a little bit on this one. And it's pretty nice for the ears on the donkey itself goes up pretty high. I like that. I like them protruding out a little bit like that. That's pretty cool. Nice looking donkey. I like it very similar kind of to the horse, but I think I like the donkey a little bit better than the horse. Actually. I just like the look of them a little bit more. What number are you? Number three PPI worldwide. There we go. Bang. We are getting close to the end here of these guys. And we go straight for the double up on the puppy. That is a bummer. Oh boy. Bummer. 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 
It's a bumbler. We got the double puppy in the green. Oh, well. Don't worry. I'm sure I'll make trades or something with somebody to get the complete set or something at some point. But what do we got in this one? We've got, I think this is the butterfly, which was, oh, no, 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 no. It's our bull or something. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We got the right. We, we had gotten two of the jellies of him. But now we've got the regular green, which you can see the eyes on this one, actually. You, like, couldn't see the eyes at all on the jelly version. Also, the hands kind of blend in on the jelly. Everything, you know, the jellies look sweet, but details just disappear sometimes, especially if they're not painted. I prefer my jellies a little bit painted in the highlighted areas, but this is a nice-looking ball. He doesn't look too bad. He looks pretty sick. His eyes are pretty reasonable to me. I dig it. I like his hair. I like his little floppy bang is coming down over his forehead. That looks pretty fun. We've only got three packs left. Am I about to get screwed over and not find a cat? I, that's like one of the ones I just really wanted. I wanted one of the kitties or the cat or something. And uh, hey, we got a new one. I believe this is a duck or a frog. I think it's a duck. It almost looks like Daffy Duck, honestly. Yeah, it is. It's the duck, and it straight up looks like a Daffy Duck cartoon go-go version, which is hilarious, but they had to change him up a little bit. Otherwise, you know, they'd get sued by Disney, which would not be fun, but this one's cool, and a brand new one in a nice orange, which I prefer. I think if I had to collect... Yeah, I think I would have to go orange for the jellies if I was to collect a whole set of just the jellies. The orange is really nice. I do have more of the blue currently, though. One of these better give me a kitty or a cat. Come on, let's see it. All right. Oh, oh you mother fricker. You give me the lamb, the lamb with the weird looking eyes. Why are the eyes painted like that? Are they supposed to be like eyelashes? I don't understand why they look so dead inside. It's the most horrific looking lamb eyes I've ever seen. And I think they're all kind of like that. Wasn't he like that on the packaging too? Yeah, they got them painted like in the packaging. So that is legit, not just like flaking of the paint, but that is a, ugh. I don't know. I don't know why they chose that for the eyes. They could just went all black. Decisions were made and I got a second lamb, which is a bummer. But we do have one more pack to go. So can we find the kitty or the cat in this last pack? Leave a like on the video if you guys have been enjoying so far. This has been a lot of fun opening these guys up and checking them out. Oh, wow. Okay. That just completely went out of the packaging, flew across my desk. Uh, but I got him. He's right here. He's okay. It's our bug in the jelly orange. Check it out. That is sick. All right, cool. We got him in a jelly orange. Lots of double ups. And of course, you know, I can't be too mad. It's 20 figures. You get one per pack. The doubles are bound to happen. Uh, it's, you know, it's less like the normal sets with 80 figures and three per pack and stuff. It's a little different, but you still would like to see a good variety. Honestly, I don't think we did too bad. We got 14 out of the 20 at the end of the day for all the figures. Pretty nice. Another little bit of a closer look at all the figures. I'm digging it. These guys were a lot of fun to open up. And again, I'm just happy to have some of them in my collection. I was worried for a minute that I wouldn't be able to do a video like this or get a hold of some of these packs. But uh, thankfully, I was able to. And hopefully you guys enjoyed opening them up with me. Make sure to leave a comment and let me know which one was your favorite character of the ones we pulled here today. That's going to do it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that little pack cracking. These guys are so cool, so unique. And I'm just stoked to have a new set of Go-Go's in my hands and in my collections now. So make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel once again. I appreciate you guys watching and supporting me all this time. It's been great. And I can't wait to keep grabbing having some new sets when we do get them. So stay tuned for those. Have a great rest of the week and we will catch you guys in the next video.